If you're a software developer or beginner of programming, you may already know the value of learning how to code properly. However, if you come from another background where coding may not be an immediate requirement, you may not understand the worth of coding just yet. So in this video, I'll talk about some of the essential elements that make coding a must-learn skill in 2022. First, your field doesn't matter. There was a time when coding was confined to computer science and software development. If you stretch it further to the next group that learned code was engineers, but that was mostly it. If you're from a business background or a finance student or someone from the medical field, coding would have been an alien subject to you. However, things have changed dramatically over the last decade or so. Companies consume much more data than before to make decisions and are keen on improving process efficiency through automation. This means jobs that may have traditionally been out of scope for software development have found themselves with plenty of opportunities to improve through the use of coding and data analysis. Those who choose to adapt by learning to code can find themselves ahead of the game compared to their peers stuck in their old ways. Whether you're dealing with complex algorithms and AI, manipulating stock exchange numbers, configuring the setup for your newly engineered robot, automating a monthly report, or devising predictive algorithms for your medical discoveries, you'll find code in every field these days. Next up is coding and academics. Since coding has become such a critical part of the corporate ecosystem, most universities are now trying to include coding subjects in their curriculum. Schools and colleges pay special attention to programming because it's, face it, Schools and colleges pay special attention to programming because let's face it, it's the technology era and everyone should have at least a basic understanding of coding. Therefore, if you have a background other than computer science and software engineering, I would seek out exciting electives that incorporate coding into learning objectives to get first-hand experience with developing solutions with software. Suppose you're already out of school and are a working professional. In that case, it's a good idea to learn the basics of coding to not find yourself behind the technological curve from the next wave of new hires that have a couple of college credits in development under their belts. Next, coding gives you new options. In my opinion, knowing how to code is a superpower. It unlocks so many options to solve problems that you wouldn't have thought possible before your development experience. For example, learning how to code can provide new opportunities if you're a business owner. How? Well, for instance, you've been noticing that your teams are spending a lot of their working days doing manual data entry and making more errors than you'd like as a manager. If you didn't know how to code, the traditional scapegoat would be a lack of focus on training or just accepted inherent risk of data entry itself. On the other hand, if you had a programming mindset, you would know that you could automate the entire workflow, freeing up more productivity working hours for your teams and drastically drive down the number of data errors. Another example, if you're a doctor running a clinic, learning simple data structures in Python, for example, may tempt you to convert your current patient data into a more accessible and digital electronic health record system. That way you can handle more patient data with less effort and improve your analytics through automated reporting. As you learn new techniques in coding, you'll always get more options to add technological solutions to your company's toolkit. Next, you get a new perspective on thinking. 2022 will all be about thinking innovatively and coming up with solutions no one has talked about before. When you code, your ability to think creatively and differently increases several notches. Simply put, coding gives you a systematic way of thinking because it runs on logical algorithms. So you'll start thinking more logically when solving a problem in the real world. When you understand the logic at a deeper level, your creativity and critical thinking abilities are boosted so that you can break down complex and extensive tasks into more minor and workable problems. And that way you start thinking smartly and logically to devise solutions to problems. Next, you get alternative career options. Coding can be big money profession. If you have successful developer friends, you'll understand what I'm talking about. 2022 and onwards is a great time to learn to code because most future careers will depend on coding skills. More importantly, if you become better at coding, there are thousands of jobs in the market right now, so you can always switch to a coding profession. Because the economy is shifting quickly towards the digital side, learning to code can give you a competitive advantage over other prospective candidates, even for jobs that may not necessarily need coding experts. Starting to code as a hobby can lead you to some exciting places. While you may not necessarily need to code during your job, you might need to interact with a coder for your company. For example, if you're a sales manager for your company, you can better guide the developer about your business app if you know the basic dynamics of how coding works. Having an excellent business skills and domain knowledge plus a coding mindset is a compelling pairing to have and will accelerate your career. Next is side money opportunities. This is the era of freelancing or the gig economy. If you know about freelance sites like Upwork or Fiverr, you'll learn how freelancing can help sustain your life cycle and get you some extra bucks. 
If you know how to code, you can provide services to thousands of users over the internet, solving their coding problems, helping them with assignments, or developing new algorithms for different companies. On the one hand, while you're earning from your full-time job, you can make extra bucks by working as a freelance coder or developer. A high percentage of tech work is being done now by freelancers online, so why not get your own share too? Coding careers pay better than most. If you're thinking that it's too late to start coding, think again. The next five to 10 years will be the golden days for modern programmers and coders. Some stats suggest that coding jobs pay off a much higher annual salary than some other renowned professions. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual salary of different programmers was substantially higher than those of other professions. According to that report, web developers can earn about 74,000 a year. Computer network admins earn more than 83,000 a year. Software developers earn in excess of $105,000 every year. Given that the national average salary in the same period was less than $40,000 a year, coding and programming skills have an obvious advantage in terms of money. The next reason is coding is easy. Coding is thought as being much harder than it actually is. It's not something that you can learn overnight, but you can have a pretty good grip on the basics in a month or two with consistency and patience. The best way to learn code is through self-paced online courses or boot camps. This is especially true for new students with non-programming backgrounds. The great thing about coding is that the barrier of entry for most is nothing. All you need is a computer and an internet connection to start coding. The internet connection isn't all entirely needed if you choose to learn from books. For the same reason, you can try coding risk-free without worrying about buying a bunch of equipment up front, like a sport or other field, and only have it to collect dust when you decide it's not a fit. Also, if you start learning with a well-supported and well-used language like Python, Coding becomes easier too, just from the mounds of available resources and supporting communities online. The next reason is flexible career roles. The best thing about coding is its flexibilities in terms of job roles. You can choose to work for websites as a designer, front-end or back-end developer, network admin, and DevOps engineer. Therefore, you have more choice to pursue a career path when you become a coder, especially in 2022 when everything revolves around expertise. Knowing how to code can give you a noticeable edge over other competitors who are in the job interview just like you. Now that you know why learning to code is a good idea, check out my video on the top five languages to learn in 2022. See you in there.